Have you ever heard the saying, let's build a better mouse trap? Well, that's what we have here. I'll show you how. Basically, they eat this, they roll in, and kerplunk, they go for a swim. And uh, that takes care of your mouse or your bowl problem. It's very simple. Do you have a mouse problem in your yard or bowl that you want to get rid of and you don't want to spend a lot of money for expensive traps? Well, I found a very simple homemade remedy that actually worked last year. It worked better than any of the other little traps that I bought. And uh, really all you need is a bucket and a nice cold Coca-Cola or any other brand of beverage that you care to drink. So you get the pop can empty, the pop is for you, and poke a hole through one end. Basically what you're going to do is take a bucket and somehow get that pop can to be in the center and be able to pivot or roll. And there's a little black spider in there trying to come after my arm. Let's make sure he didn't land on me. Okay, so you just pivot your pop can somehow. You could use a twist tie or a wire or a dowel rod, something that is anchored in between. Basically, you're going to just put your bait on here. It could be just simply peanut butter. And, and put a plank or a, just a piece of wood so that the critter can get up to this level. He will see and smell that irresistible scent of whatever bait you're using on there. Cheese or peanut butter. Peanut butter, I've heard, is one of the best. Um, you can Google what you want to use. I used peanut butter. It worked like a charm because it's waterproof uh, virtually. I mean, it's like an oil. So, uh, But you're going to basically suspend it in between. And when the critter reaches across and wants to get that food, this thing will roll and kerplunk. In he goes. He just needs about that much water. Let's just stop. Poke a hole in that. Oh, yeah, let's do a pop all over ourselves. If I use diet pop, it wouldn't be sticky. Did you know that? If you use diet pop, or if you spill diet pop, it's not quite as sticky. Ever have a can of Coke or Mountain Dew blow up in your car? Oh. Yeah, that's a mess. Anyway, you're going to poke a hole into the end of this. <laughs> okay, don't do it this way. I get another can of pop. <sighs> well, I'll have to edit out and come up with a different way of poking a hole into the end of a pop can. I thought it would be easier than that. You could shoot it with a BB gun. That might be fun. Be right back. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. You can use a BB gun. Might as well do it the fun way, huh? Who says chores? A lot are no fun. Let's uh, have a fun way of doing this. You should wear safety goggles. Pretend I am. Okay. Effective and safe. Well, I wouldn't say safe. whatever you want to use, whatever's around the house, make it easy, it shouldn't have to be hard. Okay, let's go set this up. You want to know something ironic? That whole time I had a scissors in my pocket, I could have poked the hole in it with this. I had this for uh, getting my asparagus picked. I'll show you in a bit. Okay, for my better mouse trap, I've chosen a place that is fenced in actually, and that's my garden area. Kids cannot get in here, little kids anyway, and you do not want little children tipping into buckets. There really, really is a serious uh, danger to that. I'm never serious on my shows, but I am about that. Okay, let's get a plank. Yeah, that's been there a while. Basically, you just give them a little ramp that they can get up, but something that they can't get out with. 
So the creature comes along, smells that peanut butter, reaches across, can't reach it, so it probably jumps. Or he may walk, do one of these trapezoid acts, but once he gets onto the can, it'll get dumped in. And it's nice to have it off center so that it spins with the top being here because it'll return back to that position. Rain won't make that wash off for quite a while. So we'll just set it up and let it work its magic. In the meantime, I'll show you my cool garden that I started. And uh, it's only May 28th. I have a lot more to plant. It's got a little grapevine going on. It's got to experiment, you know. And that's what I recommend you do for gardening. Just experiment, see what grows. It's got a little bit of asparagus going. Question you might be able to help me with. Where did all the other asparagus go? It's not up yet. And I'm a little upset about that. Um, I don't know if the roots died in the drought last year or if they froze in the winter. Ooh, nice angle in the sun. Anyway, uh, that's how to build a better mousetrap. And with that, I'm going to sign off.